topic of this video is solving radical equations. Let's look at a problem. The cube root of the difference 3x minus 2 subtract 3 equals negative 2. Okay, one of the things that you want to work on as an algebra student is being able to look at a problem and recognize what are the steps needed to solve that problem. This is a radical equation. I know it's an equation because it contains equals, because it contains equals, and I know it's a radical equation because it has this radical symbol. This right here is a radical. Our radical happens to be a cube root because of the index of 3. Okay, the steps for solving a problem of this type are isolate one of the radicals, raise both sides to a power that matches the index of the isolated radical, solve the equation, and then check the answer. Okay, so in this problem, we only have one radical. It is this right here. Isolate means to get it alone so that there's no adding or subtracting before or after it, and no dividing. We have subtraction after this radical, and the way you can get rid of subtraction is with addition. So we're going to add 3 to both sides of our equation. Then we have the cube root of the difference, 3x minus 2, equals 1. The next step is to raise both sides of the equation to a power that matches the index of the isolated radical. Well, this is our isolated radical, and its index is 3. So we raise both sides of this equation to the third power. Doing this may introduce extraneous solutions, which are, exclusions that, which, are, which are solutions that are actually wrong. And for that reason, that's why checking is a required step. Okay, the cube and the cube root cancel, leaving us 3x minus 2. 1 raised to the third power is 1, because 1 cubed is 1 times 1 times 1. All right, now solve. As long as there are no radicals in your equation, you can solve the equation. So we're going to add 2 to both sides, which gives us 3x equals 3. And we'll divide by 3 on both sides, which gives us x equals 1. We have what our answer might be, but it could be an extraneous solution, and therefore we must check it. The way you check a solution is by plugging back into the original equation you started with. So we're going to use this equation, but everywhere we see an x, we're going to put 1. And then we're going to evaluate the left side of the equation are going to evaluate the right side of the equation and see if they match. Okay, so everywhere we see an x, we put 1. And now we begin to simplify. We will not use any properties of equality when checking our work. For example, we will not add 3 to both sides. We simply evaluate what number is on the left side by following order of operations. All right, so following order of operations, we work with inside our grouping symbol, which is the radical first, and multiplication before subtraction. 3 times 1 is 3. So we have the cube root of 3 subtract 2 minus 3 equals negative 2. Now do the subtraction. So we have the cube root of 1 minus 3 equals negative 2. The cube root of 1 is 1, so we have 1 minus 3 equals negative 2. And 1 minus 3 equals negative 2, so we have negative 2 equals negative 2. The left side and the right side match, which proves that the answer that we thought might be our answer really is our answer. The answer to this problem is x equals 1.